So this is how to um, use Premiere Pro for a character animator. And the reason why you want to use Premiere Pro is because uh, um, when you use After Effects, for some reason now, it gets full when you're rendering. Uh, it's this disk is full. And I've tried many things to try to, you know, delete all the info and stuff, and it just... It, it, it deletes it, but then as soon as it gets to a certain point when it renders, um, After Effects gives me that same message that disk is full. And as you can see, I have 595, 13 gigabytes of free space. So it's taking a lot of uh, RAM um, when it comes to rendering in QuickTime now. So I haven't figured out a way, but if you do know, please leave a description on this video. But I'm going to show you a quick way using Premiere Pro to render your projects from character animator to your final product. It's very quick. That way, um, you know, you don't have to deal with that. I mean, if you have, like, if you're on a schedule, this is a quick way of doing it, you know. Um, but if you do know a way to use After Effects and solve that little error problem when it's rendering, you know, when you send to render queue, uh, please let us know in the description. All this would like to know, but for now, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Premiere to uh, work on your character animator projects. So let's get started. Let's open this. Right now, so when we import our um, character animation project, we go to File or yeah, File Import. We Go uh, Command I, and uh, let's uh, import our character animation. So we'll open this. We'll image sequence. Make sure you click the frame zero, and Premiere will do the rest. But see what what happens when uh, when you put it on the timeline. It makes the character move faster than he needs to be. And we don't want that. So what we do is we go here, we right click on this, and we go to modify, interpret footage. After that, uh, we're not gonna go over the details with this because uh, you can figure that out on your own or there'll probably be other videos, time code. But for now, let's just focus on getting the video correct like we uh, when we exported it or when we were working on from Character Animator. So this is what you'd press here. Assume this frame rate right here. And character animator, uh, its uh, frame rate is 12 frames per second. And we're going to type that in. 12 frames per second. See, default has it 29 frames per second. That's OK with normal movies, like footage that you've captured. But for animation and PNG files that you have export from character animator you want to go 12 frames per second so we'll say okay and now we can drag it here to the timeline and now it's exactly how we worked on it in character animator so it's going at the frame rate that uh, we exported from character animator and when you export it, it will not give you the uh, disk image uh, full of that error in After Effects. So you could work on your stuff in After Effects still, but when it comes to character animator and doing that, this kinds of stuff, uh, yeah, I don't trust it yet. But if you know a way on uh, how to uh, solve that little problem where when you're rendering and it tells you the disk space image is too full, you don't have enough RAM, you know. Uh, please put a detailed description on, uh, on on this video, you know, let people know, share your knowledge with us. Uh, but if you just wanna, if you're on a time schedule, you wanna do this. Import your project here, your PNG files to Premiere Pro and sequence and then just go through the process of changing the frame rate. Easy peasy, see? Now everything's moving smoothly. This is 12 frames per second. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Please uh, like us and uh, we'll like this video and uh, follow us, uh, subscribe to us. 
because we, we love to share um, troubleshooting uh, tutorials. Thank you.